EFF leader Julius Malema has sent a strong warning to the United States to stay away from South Africa's domestic issues. EFF leader Julius Malema is calling on police to take charge and arrest rapists. He says they must intensify efforts to protect women. Violence. It must not be gender-based violence when it comes to Julius Malema and when it comes to your president. It's not gender-based violence. I'm a president of an organization too. And I shall treat your president the same way you treat me. Julius Malema is a strong name in the African political scene. But what makes him so special? You are chattering. This is a this is a, this is a building of a revolutionary party. And you know nothing about the revolution. So here, wait, here. Yeah, you'll be able or else you jump. During the April 2009 presidential elections, Malema gathered support for Zuma, in which Malema said, we are prepared to take up arms and kill for Zuma. His statement was condemned from politicians and South Africans alike, while opposition parties questioned why Zuma did not reprimand Malema. Zuma did not reprimand Malema because Malema had showed great loyalty. We would later see the fall of this relationship as Julius Malema started falling out with ANC, form his own party and become Zuma's biggest rival. Would every day say something about President Zuma in this country? Should I stand every day, take everybody to court? You say a lot of things about me. Should I do so? If I were you can you take me to court. Something. Soon after Malema became a vocal advocate of nationalizing South African mines. Although the ANC including Mining Minister Susan Shabangu and President Zuma, made it clear that this was not ANC policy, Malema has continued to advocate this position. His opinions on nationalization are shared by South Africa's large National Union of Mines NUM. Although the ANC including Mining Minister Susan Shabangu and President Zuma, made it clear that this was not ANC policy, Malema has continued to advocate this position. His opinions on nationalization are shared by South Africa's large National Union of Mines NUM. At a public meeting at the University of Western Cape, Malema asked, why should we pay for our land? He then advocated the seizure of land without compensation and the removal of the willing buyer, willing seller principle. And everybody believes that? Yes, all people believe it. So do you consider white Zimbabweans to be Zimbabweans? Those who are naturalized and um, have citizenship, yes. Those who've been living there for yes, years and but, years but, and years? But historically. Right. Historically, the people who've they been have a debt. Contributing to, to farming, historically they have a debt to pay. Yes, the land, they... Uh, Malema said that land expropriation without compensation will be implemented after thorough consultation and constitutional amendments. How? the land question is being dealt with in South Africa is dealt with through legislation, through parliament, through consensus. It's not dealt with through uh, the carrying of machete and the occupying of farms and killing of people and the army coming in to force on the people. Malema accused white South Africans of stealing land and again advocated for the redistribution of land without compensation. In an interview with the international news broadcaster Al Jazeera and broadcast on April 24, 2016, Malema stated that should the ruling ANC continue to act violently against protests, we, the EFF, will remove this government through the barrel of a gun. The EFF's influence is rapidly increasing but it raises the question of whether Malema will make a good country president. Some people see his clips in parliament and conclude that he is rude, but I see him as firm and not willing to let bad governance destroy his country. Wife, no masses. The late wife Order. of the president. Chair. Chair. May soul rest in peace. Chair. I raised that issue because I said to the Chair. president, you cannot Chair. lead this government against gender-based violence. Chair. 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 If you have not accepted that order, a woman Chair. 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 By money launderer, that as it fit to even keep such a large stand of money within his private residence, and nothing must happen. He must step down as a president so that those accusations can be properly investigated. For him to be in that position, people will be scared to investigate him because he's known for kidnapping 
and uh, manipulate uh, state processes. So we, we need him to step down. And the speaker is protecting him. They are doing what they have done to, with Zuma. They protected Zuma until the very end. We removed him. The ANC will go to a great extent to protect uh, whatever crimes or whatever person. And therefore, from the chair, we would like to ask the honorable members of the EFF, who have not been behaving uh, honorably, to quietly and peacefully leave the house, because clearly... President they Zuma is the one to. that must leave on But the we day. are not going to allow we did nothing you wrong. to have honorable uh, members feel threatened because you have a campaign to come and disrupt the gentlemen, a joint two, are not city. Going anywhere. To man. I assure you are not going anywhere. Honorable Shibambu, yes. the, the president of this country is going to deliver the State of the Nation address. I'd like to assure you of that. So we would like you to leave us in peace. We're not going. If you are not going, then we have no option. is the one who must go. We have no option. We have no option. He must address the but nation from prison, not from there. The parliamentary protection be addressed by Osama you or persuade you to leave the house. Shut up, man. This is I would, I would like to ask that we perhaps allow Honorable Mutelezi to move from that seat and and so that. For now, until we have assisted this gen, these honorable you are instituting a coup in the IFP from that. You are instituting a coup in the Zuma is not scared of us. He is scared of your men, not us. We are not going to do anything to protect him. He is the criminal. I have called on the parliamentary protection. We are not going to leave the house. Let Zuma leave the house. Honorable Malema, you are the one who's not prepared to go. I hope this gentleman will You can kill me, it's fine, kill me. Just kill me, there's no problem, kill me.
order, Deputy Speaker? What's the point of order? Can the previous speaker please withdraw the word anarchy? No, no. That's political statement. Can he please withdraw because he said the EFF were anarchists? Honorable member, that's a political statement. There's nothing wrong with it. No, Deputy Speaker. No, no. You can De debate that outside, not now, please, or when you have a chance to speak. Okay, it's that's fine. That's not a procedural issue and so on, yeah. Deputy Speaker, no you're an privilege. anarchist. Sorry? You're an anarchist. Me? Yes. Okay, honorable member, you withdraw that now. Oh, why? Honorable why member. Why must I withdraw? You say he must not withdraw. Why must I withdraw when okay, I say honorable, you? Let me tell you. In conclusion, yes, Malema would make a good president. He has a firm character as well as bright ideas which can certainly revolutionize Africa.